Okay, so everybody can hear me? Okay, so I present you Cup and Go. So Cup and Go is a company that we created uh, four years ago. Uh, we are an ERP vendor based on uh, for the uh, insurance uh, business. So I'll be speaking, uh, I'll be uh, doing a, a speak uh, about uh, the creation of the company and uh, what are the different steps uh, we have uh, achieved to, to, to be there today. And, uh, and uh, so I'm Romain Seon, and this is uh, Frédéric Langevin, the partner uh, at uh, Copango. I'll do a, do a demonstration uh, afterward of uh, our application. Uh, so the summary of this presentation is uh, why we created Copango. Uh, a short story of uh, the origin of our company. Uh, I'll present you in two slides uh, the insurance business. So the many people uh, have insurance policies or uh, it's part of our uh, everyday life, but uh, we don't know, uh, maybe you, should, you don't know what, is, uh, what it means behind them. And uh, what is needed in an insurance ERP. Then we'll explain, we'll explain why we chose Triton a few years back. And uh, what is the brief history of COG, which is our solution, the Copango solution. And we'll present so the, the, the solution, the, it's how it's uh, architectured, and some realization, and we'll finish by uh, a, sh a short demonstration of our, of our tool. So why we created Copango? We are uh, at the base, uh, at the origin, origin of the creation of the company, we are, we are uh, a few insurance uh, expert uh, software editor. We are working for uh, several years in, uh, in, uh, for ERP vendor. Uh, but uh, the problem with ERP vendors uh, at the time or on the, again today, but uh, it's, it's, it is changing, is it a uh, locked in market, which means that uh, on the market there is a many, uh, a few solutions uh, old by uh, some uh, old vendor, which are uh, very expensive. You have high licenses, high licenses fee uh, to access to this market. So for for small companies, small insurance company or small brokers, you have to pay 50k euros. But you, uh, for uh, I did a project for BNP, which is a, a French a French bank, but uh, you can find uh, around the world. They pay two million uh, euros for the uh, just for the license fee for the right to use uh, the software. The fact that the, the the license fee is very expensive, it means that you have very long pre-sales uh, steps. So uh, people won't uh, pay two million just up front uh, just to see. So they have to decide if they really want this software. So the the fact is uh, the the, the pre-sales steps are very long. And uh, with those license fees, only a big, uh, big size market uh, could access, uh, could pay those, uh, those fees. So small or mid market size could not offer such a fees. So uh, we often met some, uh, some companies which uh, who can't afford those fees and are stuck, stuck with uh, often AS400 AS solution from the 1980s. Uh, so the black screen uh, is a TMC everywhere, and they can't afford, and they stay uh, on and on for many years with the solution because they, they don't have, uh, they, they can't pay such uh, such a fees. Always those those solutions are very uh, hard coded, so uh, you have to create new product. Uh, those product you have uh, are hard coded in the system, so there is no flexibility, very few flexibilities, and uh, like those solutions, uh, the products you sell in the solutions. Uh, are from the 1980s so also, but at, but at this time, uh, product were, were uh, insurance product uh, were uh, very uh, specific. Uh, but today, uh, with a new market, uh, every day you have a new uh, new products which are created. Uh, and if you want to sell the product to your customer, you have to be very uh, flexible and, and to be able to create new product very fast. And uh, like all the solutions, were uh, proprietary solutions. Uh, uh, often with uh, even some uh, their own language uh, of implementation, uh, there you have a very free, uh, very uh, small freedom from those ERP vendors. So once you subscribe with those, with those uh, vendor, you uh, you have to stay with them uh, for as long as long as you uh, as you pay your uh, your maintenance fee. So what 
we don't wanted to offer, we knew there was a market for, uh, for, our, for a new solution. Uh, and of course, we wanted it to be a different. So the solution we wanted to offer was a, a free license solution. So uh, you can have access to the solution without paying any fee. A fully flexible solution. The idea is to, uh, to offer to the, to the client the possibility to create their own product uh, with some uh, customization, to create the, some, uh, premium, uh, some premium rules to uh, create their, their, everything they want. And we wanted to offer a standard solution so they can uh, be more uh, autonomous on the, on the solution and to create their own uh, set of rules and uh, even uh, do the, uh, the maintenance uh, by themselves. So to explain uh, what is the insurance business, very, on, uh, very fast. So you as a, as a customer, uh, you want to be covered for, uh, for the risk of, uh, of everyday life. So uh, you ask for a premium comparison for insurance, for example. So you ask a broker on the internet, uh, or uh, you can go to different places, ask for a premium comparison for insurance. The broker finds the best price on the market. And after, you, the customer, go to the, uh, to the uh, what we call a TPA. It's the front of uh, the risk is insured by the insurer, but often the insurer doesn't do many things. It's just insured, but uh, it's not uh, the one uh, doing really the, the, ma the main job. So the, the, the one you have access to is the, the TPA. So the customer subscribe to TPA either directly so, or through the, uh, the broker, the original broker. And uh, then, of course, the TPA informs the, uh, the insurer. When the, 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 the contract is subscribed, of course, uh, the customer pays a periodic premium to be covered for the, the, time, life, the time of this of contract. The TPA calculates uh, the different commission, pays, pays the, the, the broker who bought the, uh, the offer, and uh, pays back the, the original amount to the insurer. What is the, the aim, of course, of the, uh, of the insurance business? It's to be protected. Often the, 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 the insurance symbol is, a, is an umbrella. It's, a, it's to, to take care of a lack of protection. Because in, in case of, a, of an, event, an event, a loss, in case of a loss, the customer or, of course, is, a, is heir if needed. Uh, depending on the family of the, of the insurance, here you have what we call PNC, the PNC insurance. It's a property and casualty insurance. It's when you have the insurance for your, for your home, your car, uh, and uh, different objects. Our life insurance is to protect people from incapacity uh, long-term disability or death. So in case of those events, uh, you open uh, the customer, open the claims to the TPA. The TPA once again do some, uh, some calculation, check the GBT, calculate indemnification, ask for an expert opi opinion to the uh, insurer, and the insurer pay, pays indemnification either directly or through the, through the TPA to the customer. So this is the insurance business. Two, uh, what we, this is what we need to be done to, uh, inside the insurance ERP. So what we have to, uh, the tools we need to provide to the insurance uh, business, to the uh, to insurance customer, two different sides, of course. One fr front office and back office solution. On the front office, you need uh, what we, you will need, quotation and coverage uh, comparison, for example, what I said before, uh, to find the good uh, price uh, on your project. You need to uh, have access to a customer portal if you want to subscribe a policy directly, if you want to, uh, to see if, you are, uh, if your different premiums are paid, or if you want to open the claims directly on the, from the internet. And you need to, to, to give access to your different partners uh, information on their portfolio and uh, all the, the different commissions they've earned. On the back, on the back, of its back office side of the, of, the, of the solution, we need, uh, of course, contract management and uh, to subscribe contract and every, and every modification we can make on the contract which are called endorsements. And we need a big part of the premium management to calculate premium according to many criteria. Uh, this is where we need a lot of flexibility because uh, every day we create new projects and, and different uh, criteria. So you could uh, have a criteria, for example, for life insurance, you could use the age of the person, uh, the insured amount uh, you want. 
the price could be different on the, uh, according to the distribution network you go uh, to. Uh, so this is what is needed. And uh, what is needed also is, a, is a, to calculate different commission. Uh, the commission you pay back to the brokers or different parties could be very different. You could have fixed rate, a variable rate, or prepayment. Uh, those those uh, different kind of commission which exist. And uh, what we need to be done also is to generate periodic invoice, uh, and sometimes on big database. On big database, uh, for example, if, if you have a, a million contract uh, portfolio, uh, you and uh, each contract is paid uh, monthly. You have to generate uh, one million uh, invoice per month. Of course, there is some uh, in, in Europe. Uh, we work with the SEPA, uh, SEPA file transfers transfer to, uh, to generate uh, de de direct debit payment. And there is also the automatic dunning and contract resiliation. resiliation. So uh, you pay every month for, your, uh, for the insurance of your, of your contract, but if you stop paying your contract, you have a, a certain amount of time, and after your contract is resiliated. And uh, for the flexibility of the solution, we need some rule, rule engine and workflow engine uh, to add maximum flexibility to the solution. So this is what we, ne we need in insurance ERP. And uh, this is, uh, we were all looking for, for such a solution in, two in 2012 uh, to build a new, a new solution. So uh, we, we, uh, we study a lot of uh, a different framework and uh, we chose Triton. So why do, did we choose Triton? As uh, everybody, we made a list of, of pros and cons. What we wanted was to, uh, we prefer to work on, uh, on a modern language as Python, as Python, as different to uh, Java. Uh, we didn't want really to work on, on Java. What we liked in, uh, in Triton was the modality of the solution, the, the way to uh, implement such a module or not uh, all the bits of them. What we like also about uh, Triton is, uh, is uh, we don't lo uh, use a lot of modules uh, of uh, Triton. We have a lot of our own modules. So we, more, we use more uh, Triton as a framework module and, uh, from the technical side. And uh, we didn't really need a plug and play solution uh, because it was not our, our business. Uh, what was a good uh, help was uh, the support and the formation we, uh, we had by the B2CK company. And of course the price was really cheap for the solution as it is free. And uh, what we like also was uh, we had some kind of freedom, so no string attached to the uh, to the uh, to the framework. It was uh, we we had, we had a kind of uh, of flexibility and uh, freedom. What uh, what we wanted. The cons uh, we uh, we saw was uh, there was no web client, and even in 2012 it was uh, we knew it would be uh, an issue for us because uh, we wanted that term finally to, pro to, to provide a, a, web, a, web, a web solution. We thought the, the community was a little small, but I see that every year it's uh, bigger and bigger. And uh, the fact that for our customer, uh, from a user point of view, it's not a very known solution. But nevertheless, we chose Triton and we are very happy uh, about it. So a brief history of COG from, uh, 2000, from the end of 2011 to uh, today and more. So uh, the first step was uh, the first step was uh, was benchmarking. We benchmark a different uh, solution. Finally, in, in, when we chose Triton, and we and we uh, implemented our first module. Uh, it was four years ago, and we created uh, Copango in July 2012. We prototype during uh, almost one year and a half, uh, and we signed our first customer. By December, uh, by December 2013, our customer, uh, I didn't say previously, our customer, our uh, big, our usually a big customer, so uh, we don't have a thousand of customers. We have, uh, as of today, we have eight, eight customers, but they are a big role uh, customer, and uh, it's enough for us to be uh, a profitable solution. From uh, 2014, we started the project, and by the end of the year, our first, uh, our first customer was going live. 
And by uh, and after that, we had another client, another customer, then another customer, and uh, now we, uh, we have many customers. When the application started to be used by a lot of users, we uh, started to have some issues uh, when we had uh, 50 users connected at, at the same time. So we did some work and uh, working in a new architecture using uh, Nginx and Redis. And it solved, uh, it solved the, the issue. Then, uh, as a technical side, we did some uh, to improve our process and uh, our uh, productivity. We migrate from uh, MercurySQL to Git. Uh, and then we work on, uh, on some tools on the web to release of a threat and proxy, which uh, Ali will uh, talk uh, tomorrow. Uh, later, uh, later uh, 2016, uh, Smile Benchmark our solution, uh, and uh, as one of our customers wanted to know if uh, we could build uh, one million contracts in one hour, so they did the job and it was a successful uh, project. And uh, by the mid-November of this year, uh, one of our biggest customers will uh, migrate uh, almost 500,000 contracts uh, in, uh, in Triton, so it will be a huge step. By, uh, so uh, this is a forecast for the, uh, for the years to come. Our new priority for 2017 and, uh, and later is to work on the web, on the website. Uh, the idea is to, uh, to, uh, for 2018 to uh, offer uh, a SaaS, to have a SaaS offer of our solution. Once again, uh, for small customer, uh, the idea is they, they go uh, on our website and they just uh, have to, uh, to uh, configure their application and they, and they can use it uh, direct, directly. So what is COG? <coughs> COG uh, is... Uh, unfortunately, we run out of time. Um, how long do you need to finish your presentation? What do you think? <laughs> Five minutes, okay. Yeah, five minutes, and after we have a demonstration, so. Okay, then uh, we must save all our questions, and uh, we can give you 10 minutes from the, from the discussion, but. Uh, Thank you. If you like. <laughs> we, but we can uh, add additionally more uh, uh, time, if you like. Uh, we can add uh, 10 minutes overall, then uh, you have time enough. What do you think? That's a good idea. That's a good idea. We finished uh, this, and then uh, when we come back, uh, we make the demonstration. Is it okay for you? So COG is our solution. COG, of course, is based on Triton. Uh, we use Triton and some Triton modules. On top of those modules, we have uh, some Triton module customization. So, uh, for example, for a, mo a lot of our uh, basic modules like party accounting, uh, Invoice, uh, we have uh, also customization. And on, on the side of uh, Triton, we develop also some, uh, some tools, uh, what we call Core. Co uh, for example, we use uh, some um, export and import uh, configuration through uh, uh, JSON. We uh, use some event log, some uh, batch processing. Uh, we use uh, also some, uh, some deployment, some deployment tools uh, on COG. Uh, like uh, I said before, uh, we use a uh, Redis, uh, Nginx, and for the deployment, Docker. We also use, uh, we also added some transversal, uh, transversal functionalities, uh, the rule engine, uh, the work, workflow management, uh, tax management, and some migration tools uh, that we use from, uh, for uh, our different projects. They want to migrate their data from uh, from legacy system to, uh, to, to uh, COG. And then we develop some uh, business insurance layer. What we call product factory is uh, uh, insurance product factory. Management contract, adjustment is uh, contract modification. All the, the commission management and the claim part, uh, as I explained before. And on top of that, we, uh, we have different kind of insurance. Life insurance is for protecting people. Loan insurance is for protection of a mortgage, loan and mortgage. Uh, PNC, uh, poverty and casualty insurance for the uh, insurance of items. Health insurance and world life insurance. So uh, this is COG as a technical solution. 
of a full package. Uh, if you have some question about that, uh, we'll be uh, explained tomorrow uh, on the technical uh, session. So some Titan functionality sponsored by Cog, by, uh, by Cop Go. So uh, from uh, 2012, uh, we work with the B2CK company who developed some, uh, some functionality for us. Uh, so this is some functionality that you've seen uh, in the uh, different uh, release of, uh, of Triton uh, that we are happy to have uh, contribute to. Uh, and uh, from the technical function functionalities, uh, technical functionalities and also some business functionalities uh, like commission, bank, or super payment. Summarization we've done. Uh, this is, uh, as I said, uh, more uh, client-side uh, uh, functionality we, uh, we, we have on our, uh, on our layer. Uh, some of the ones that uh, Jean already uh, presented uh, two years, two or three years ago, um, uh, which mix that, uh, uh, a mixed uh, widget that allows to uh, work, uh, to have the same item presented uh, on the list and on the form view. Uh, we will start back uh, the, the, the ability to have colors on in tree views, uh, functionality which has been removed from Triton, but that we need, uh, so we uh, restore it. And uh, we have also the ability to add uh, to, um, to add color on field, color and uh, icon, but uh, no, uh, no example. So here we have a status color on the form view. List and form. Uh, and uh, we use the, the uh, history, uh, the history browser, uh, to uh, to present a revision blame because the history, the, we have the information of the, uh, when you activate the history on the on the table, you have all the the, the technical information, but it's not uh, really uh, easily uh, readable for a user. So we uh, like a git blame. We have a revision blame that uh, can browse through the history and just present you what have changed. And who's, ma who's made it? So this is some functionality you can uh, we've uh, we've added. If you want some more information, uh, you can find on our GitHub account uh, all the, uh, the the different information we have on the different fork we have of Triton uh, and for uh, the client or the modules. Uh, on Copango, uh, our website, you will have uh, different information and different news on the company. And uh, we have also a repo on, uh, on NPM that I think will be uh, talked uh, later. Okay, so the demonstration is uh, for later. Uh, if you have some questions. Any questions? Hi, um, the ER this ERP is for the broker, for the third party, I, for, uh, who uses? It could be different people. Mainly for today, it's just more TPA, but it could be we have also some demand for uh, from brokers. The idea is the uh, the application could be used for any uh, business working in the insurance industry. We aim to work with uh, insurers directly, but uh, the size of our solutions and the, it's more aimed. We have more demand for the moment on the TPA part. Can you explain a bit more about uh, the? performance problem you solve with Nginx and uh, Redis? Uh, no. <laughs> this is a little too uh, technical for me, but uh, it will be explained tomorrow. Yes, there will be a talk about that tomorrow, in fact. Well, I guess. <laughs> Any questions? No? Okay. Thank you.